All right, my friends. Well, I'm at Natalie's Liquor Warehouse on Germantown in Memphis, Tennessee. They had their allocated drop this morning. I don't know that what they have left, but we're gonna check them out. It's been a long time since I've done a video. It's been almost two weeks, almost three weeks. So let's see if I can get back in the swing of things. All right, well, it's definitely been a hot minute since we've been here. So I'm going to, wants to zoom in on Jack Daniels there, so cool dickel sign. All right, gonna go nice and slow and do a video and I'm gonna intermingle uh, live stuff in with it I know that people some people like it some people don't so we'll just kind of we'll just kind of keep it to a minimum oh, got the traveler here finally the traveler has come to Memphis what's everybody's thoughts on that I have a bottle that was gifted to me by my brother for Christmas uh, actually for my birthday and I've not had a chance to try it yet so you guys will have to let me know uh, what you think of it and I will let you know and uh, everything gets packed up. Everything I own is packed up in a box. I uh, don't even really have much of the uh, <laughs> many bottles to choose from. Uh, we started un unmoving, or, or unmoving, I guess we moved from our old house to our new house. This is a store pick and everything is just completely discombobulated. I was really hoping to put everything in the new bar but we had to make storage for other things because there's gonna, it's going to storm this week so we really couldn't or the day the day we were actually going to do it was supposed to rain so we really had to kind of get in there and push through and uh make everything happen so we'll give a get our stuff for canadian chris he's in my top three favorite canadians uh out there middle earth collectors uh in there and so is uh nathan fillion so All right, let's see what I got. I will be buying large bottles. We've talked about that already. Um, once I can get into the into my, well, I guess we'll call it an office or my bar. I think I'm leaning toward uh, Major Zero's uh, uh, bar at the end of the uh, globe. And if you know about the globe, then you've been around a long time. Here's it's a different store pick. I've got the Johnny Walker under under lock and key. So, all right, let's see what we got over here. The whistle pig. I've not had much of it. The one little bit of rye I had was minty, and I was not a fan of it. So, uh, got this. I've got quite a little bit of this going on right here. So I need to get some. Uh, I haven't seen any big bottles of the Green River. So, but that's a. This is that price is fantastic. I love it. Let's see. We got ooh, 130. That's an instant buy for just about everybody. I think on that single barrel. Um, I'm almost out of mine, so I think I'm going to regret not getting that today. Um, all right, let's see here. All right. And then there is my dad's shoes, the Kentucky Tavern. Um, exciting thing about uh, seeing my dad's shoes always makes me think about family and, uh, and talk about Discord a little bit. Uh, we just crossed 500 subscribers uh, on Discord. Uh, if you're looking to hunt or you're looking for food or you're looking for EDC or looking to hang out a lot of great guys in there that just want to hang out and uh, and just be uh, just be helping each other hunt I mean, it's, it, I, mean I, I can't tell you how excited I am I just started another California channel in there and people who are really wanting to uh, help each other find bottles and then there's some bottle swapping and things along those lines I don't I just kind of let it run on its own so uh, just building community um, I like this one. This is probably one of my, of all those. I know a lot of people like the 1910 and some of the other ones. Uh, I like the 1897. That'll be, I wonder if I can get a big bottle of that. We'll see. I know the Woodford Double Oak. My brother was really wanting to get the Double Double Oak. Uh, we may try to, supposedly at Christmas, there's going to be a, um, there's going to be a drop of the, of a three pack of those. So if anybody sees any of those, let me know. Uh, I've got some, smoke wagon I need to go through and check out got a little bit more of the Jefferson's Reserve over here that Baker's is eight years seven months good stuff uh, here's the Russell's um, I'm gonna definitely be looking for the Russell's 15 this year that's my that's my bottle I want that's what I'm uh, gonna get in trouble for I've already 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 told the wife that she's gonna get mad at me when I go to buy that bottle as long as it's not too far over MSRP. Uh, let's see. Blueberry and honey. I don't know. Still love the 
Doc McGillicuddy. Still my favorite name for a, a, a bourbon or a whiskey, I guess. Old tub, 22 bucks. Can't beat that price. Got the maker's mark. Got the bullet. I have not had much of the, and I'm out of practice, so the camera's going to be all over the place. I'm going to go too fast. I'm going to make dumb jokes. Everything I do. Not had much of the mixtures. I'm going to have to remedy that. Enjoyed this. Uh, kind of a honey bit. I believe these are what Nancy Fraley uh, is helping out with. Uh, I need to get some of those. Heard a lot of good things about Rabbit Hole lately. And there's the Calumet. The Calumet. Yeah. Been drinking this this last week. Okay. Or last couple of days because I found the bottle. And it was easy to get to. And I'm glad I did. So there's the Kentucky Straight. You know, they're starting to do a lot of their own stuff now. I think the Holland Station is kind of the MGP juice, but they're, the stuff that they're doing is great. I did the, when I did the picket with, with Bruzel, um, we, we had a cast drink that was amazing. So 100% this is a bottle that I will be getting. And you know, should I get a big bottle of this and just have it up there and uh, you know, you can pour it out 80 bucks for the big bottle, maybe not too bad. Uh, but can you, can you trust a bottle that has to wear a belt buckle to keep its label on? Uh, Mrs. Drizzle would have to tell me if she thinks that's worth it. Another big bottle. So it would be a big bottle talk, kind of what, what I'm thinking about. Uh, get the benchmark. I've got a big bottle, and there's Fireball, because you can't have video without Fireball. Uh, I've got the very old Barton bonded. Uh, just I'll have larger bottles. That way, when I when I do have company come over, I'll be able to have them over. Uh, we'll definitely be getting the Evan Williams. So if you see some bottle in here that you think I should get, uh, big bottle-wise, of course, I'll get a Elijah Craig. I don't know about the straight. You know, I've never had the straight rye. Uh, is it minty? Let, Pete, let me know. I'll definitely get one of those. I don't have uh, a good memory of, of, of the, the, the samples I've tried of this, but um, once again, minty, not minty. Got the uh, Bardstown. Let's see, that's the East. One, the Four Roses. Shells are kind of bare down here. We've got the, oh, look at it. He's blushing. This guy's blushing because he's wearing a belt. But he's on fire. He's really pulling it off. That's a little charter. Got that. Need to get some of the Heaven Hill. Uh, our buddy uh, that camped out with us said at, uh, at Yorkshire, that was her favorite. Got the, there it is. Blended number 40. Got the Got the private barrel here. Got made in the hill of Kentucky. Sounds like Willet talked to me. Oh, how I've missed you, gross. I may, I may do a GoFundMe and uh, and buy a bottle. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't. And and just so I can have it in the bar and, and just so I can sit up there and torture people for uh, uh, punishment shots. So, I'm kidding. I, I bought my lore for that. Got the famous grouse down there. Definitely gonna expand my scotch too. I found I have another bottle of this. I have two bottles at the house when I was moving. I should have kept one of those out for where I could get it. Alright, I've not had this. Anybody had this one? Alright, let's see. We got the we got the Lago Boom in. It's a great price on that 16. Glen Morangi. Yeah, another good one. But I will be expanding now that I have room. I want the CFO doesn't approve of that. We'll be getting a big bottle of that. Gotta have a big bottle of, of scotch. Alright, got the Doomers. And the Clan McGregor. Is it the Irish? I have my pappies that my niece and nephew got me for. I'll have to drink some of that. Got the proper 12. I'm gonna have to get a big ball of Jameson for me. You never know. And I've got these. I've got. I think I have to hear. Uh, I think I have some of these. I'm not sure which ones I have. I have a three pack of these, and I will be trying those before too long. All right. And because I don't like to edit, I'm gonna walk over here and look at the sale table, which people yell at me every single time because I don't buy something else. So everything on this table is half off. Got that Jesse James. Got the Hunter and Scott. Let's see, we got this Mandarin. 
Sugar-free ginger beer. Uh, I may have to get some of that. I like that ginger beer. So I'm gonna go over here. Someone is over on the t at the tater table, and when they get done, I'll do that. So actually, I'll do a quick preview of that as we walk by, and uh, we'll just kind of I'll come back and get the prices of these. I'm gonna do tequila. It's a little intermission in between there. So I got my bottle of that. All right, let's take a look at the tequila over here. I can't remember. Is this one I should get? I just like these big bottles. These big bottles are going to just look, I think they're all going to look great behind me uh, on my on my bar shelf. So I'll get a couple of different tequilas. Try to try to span things out a little bit. All right, let's see here. Let's see. These guys I had a conversation with them. They were very into jaguars and, and conservation. And this is, you know, like three ingredients, like you know, you know, rainwater, mezcal, and you know, whatever the other thing was. I can't remember what he was. I a, a, a guy was very excited about it, so I will be getting some jaguar. Right, let's see. Here's my lookalikes tequila. All right. Anybody see anything I should be getting? Let me know. Got, a, got the top shelf of stuff up there. I'll see if I can't get a little bit up there. You may have to zoom in on your phone and see the top shelf stuff up there. Let's see, I think they've got. I'm not wearing my normal hat today because I can't find them. We packed them up to keep them safe and I can't get them. It's embarrassing. All right. Let's see over here. I'm going to go over here and do a quick pass. Put everything over there. Let's see here. Got Yellowstone. Got that Dickel. Got the McKenna. Got the Jack Daniels 10. It's a bundle. It looks like those are his store picks, if I had to guess. Yes. He's got the 10 and the 12. Got the Weller. Got the uh, Eagle Rare. Got the big bottle of this. I, I heard they're not making this anymore, so that, you can either take my word for it or, or not, but that's the chatter I hear. Got the small batch, and they've got the blends. So I'm going to do a up shot so you can get the prices, and then that'll be it. So I just want to say uh, thanks, everyone. If you can get a chance to like and subscribe. Uh, have not posted much, but that is going to change. I'm going to go back on the regular schedule. This is the A124 and the toasted barrel. You haven't heard uh, when, like, for the when the new stag is going to come out. Ain't chance, do you? No, no. So he'll let me know as soon as it happens. So and there's the Weller. All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much. Uh, the move was crazy. It was a lot of work. We finally got moved in last night, and after cleaning and everything. So hopefully, I can uh, start working on the bar and start doing a little bit more in-depth videos about things I purchase when I do purchase, and uh, go from there. So all right. Slanging my friends. Thanks. All right, one quick wrap up. Uh, the new the plan for this is going to be the first of every month. Uh, he's going to save all the allocated things he gets uh, and put them all and it'll be on the table here. Uh, what time do you open? Eight. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Uh, so you want to get here early and grab these bottles. So that's it. So all right.